Good morning, my internet children. My name is Mama May, and the video you are watching right now is basically my YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching this right now, um, it is a highly requested video called Mama May's Mukbang. That's right. I'm going to eat these newts in front of you and make you watch. It's going to be semi-interesting. Anyways, uh, basically the foods I have today, I have noodles from the Asian section of Myers and Walmart. Ta-da! With a teriyaki sauce from Panda Express that was at Myers. I have cherries from Myers. They're not pitless, so there's pits in them. And a wheat bread sandwich made with mosaic uh, fruit spread from Smucker's and peanut butter from Jif. So creamy peanut butter from Jif. Um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about during this, but I might as well just say what's on my mind. So let's get started. So my kids... Some of my kids, not all my kids, because some of my kids are too young for school. But some of my kids are going back to school. They, a lot of them started yesterday. And it's interesting to send my kids off to school because, because I'm sending them to a place where people of all species, whether they're adnor, human, um, whatever. They're not very friendly to my kids because my kids live in a mixed household. Basically, my kids live in a household of humans and adnors. And for those who don't know, adnors is short for adnormal, which is short for your guys' universe is abnormal, meaning different, unique. Um, basically, some of my kids are completely not human. They're either alien, um, sea creature, a uh, half human, half, half um, adnor. Um, some of them are humans that were born with special abilities, like their blood and DNA are human, but they have abilities that people can't explain. Um, and my home, my home is like last chance Texaco for these kids. The human kids, the ones without special abilities, they get a choice between me or Juby. And once they choose me, their life is on the chopping block. Like if my kids choose me, and I have to send them out of the home, which I'll never do, by the way. I, I will never do this to my children because I don't want them to go to the pound. And in my universe where I live, the pound isn't like for dogs and cats and it's not a shelter. No, it's, it's automatic death row for these kids. My children are are basically put to death no matter what species they are it's not fair to them seriously it's not fair to you at all like i bring you into my home to protect you that's my job i became a foster mom to protect my kids I'm going to do my job and protect you as much as I can. It's my job. I'm I'm a mom for a reason. It's to raise, to nurture, and protect. I'm not gonna let them take you away. I'm just saying that's not that's the last thing I want to happen. Once you come into my house, you're my child. No matter age, whether you're a teenager, whether you're a baby, whether you're a kid. 
Whether you're even part of the staff, you are not part of my family. It's like, it's like a mother raising her kittens. Like, she's protective. You ever seen a, a full, like, unmagical cat give birth? Like, most mother cats are very protective. And since I'm half cat, half human, I am too. But my parents were half cat, half human, as far as I know. And, and here's the thing, we shouldn't be treated different just because we're not fully human, but we are. I mean, I hear about discrimination in your guys' in your guys' world. It's basically the same thing in my world. Maybe a little worse. Because us Adnors just got our right, like within the last 10 years, got our right to be considered equal to humans. The cool thing is in some parts of the world, some parts in the world, Adnors already have already had the rights for years and years and years. But the Adners here in the in the United States in my world <laughs> we just got our right. We were treated like pets. Some of us like slaves. Like just because we are can be stronger and we're more resilient and some of us are immortal to humans. I hear about a universe. I heard about a universe and a world that I heard about a world where Adnors are called supernaturals and they're treated way more with way more respect. They have all the rights and they have they've had all the rights since the beginning of time. Why can't my world be the same? Why can't we stop putting Anders in cages and treating them, treating us unequal? Why can't we leave the villages of Anders alone? I'm, I'm serious. I was raised in a vi village that was considered a cult just because Anders were working together, whether they their bloodline was fully human or not. I still don't get it. I just don't get it. Maybe that's just me, but that's my opinion. I just don't get it. I had to fight for my might to be a foster mom. Not only for my right to be a foster mom, but my right to be a foster mom of humans. It frustrates me. Then I had to go and get the highest level of government clearance just to become a foster mom because I'm half cat. I bet if I went to the Egyptian government, I could get highest clearance so quick. 
Maybe I wouldn't even have to get clearance to be a foster mom out there. Would they even let, like, It's not only hard to be a foster mom in this government, but the kids have gone through a lot. And some of them, because of that, are scared of each other. And the humans are scared of the Adnors. The Adnors are scared of the humans. Most of the kids that first come into my house, those first, like when they first enter my house, they're the most violent. A lot of them. Or they're too scared to even leave their rooms. Because they're scared of each other and what each other would do. With some of them, I'm lucky to get them as a baby because then, then I can raise them. Which it sucks. The ones I get as little babies. Because if I get them as babies, they're basically marked for death as soon as they come right into my door. And that's not fair to them. I, and, and if they come in as kids and they don't have parents, it's harder for them to get adopted once they come into my house. Because the whole world like, even the highest people in government in almost the whole entire world knows about my house. Like it shouldn't matter what you were born as or your race or or whether you're human or you're not. That should not matter. It shouldn't, but it does. It, and that's awful. It, it should not be that way. You shouldn't have to fear for your life because you're different. And kids need to be kids. Like, if you walk out your door and you're afraid somebody's going to shoot you,
That's not an environment your kids should be raised in. They shouldn't have to fear for their lives every single time they go out the door. I have kids. I have kids that are so scared of the police that they basically huddle and like they turn into little balls of just frightened energy anytime they see a officer pull up. And the police are supposed to be there to protect and serve. But how are they supposed to protect and serve when the people they're serving are scared they're going to pull out a gun or arrest them for no reason? That is not a life to be living in. I'm just glad the school that I put my children in protects the right, their rights. Because if I put them in any other school, I think it would have been different for them. I live in the area that I live in for my kids. There's this, there's this thing called VDOC that was out. Like, it's really bad. It still is. And basically, it's made a lot of people very sick. Even outdoors. Which is really rare. Because no... There hasn't been an illness like this. <coughs> like, other than, like, the flu that has attacked humans and animals before. Like, usually, a lot of illnesses are, like, an animal illness or human illness. And they only relate to, like, certain animals. Like, there's a... There's illnesses that only werewolves can get. And there's illnesses only fairies can get. And there's illnesses that only vampires can get. I know, that sounds weird. But yes, vampires can get sick too. And people are so paranoid about it, thinking that other countries made this to to not only to not only bring down numbers of other other countries, but to bring down the population of animals. And some people are really happy about that, and some people are not so happy about that.
No, I'm really not supposed to talk about DDOT because in my government and in my, in my world, it's taboo to talk about on social media. Even though they're trying to get information out to people. Like, I get it. Some people have the wrong information and don't do the research. The others have really good tips on how to work through it. So why not let them post? I'm almost finally out of cherries. <laughs> After these are gone, this will be the last of of my video. I love my kids. And I want to protect them. And some of them have families. Seriously, some of them have living families that want them. But can't have them because the kids made bad decisions and now they're in my house. Or some of them are from families that that are really scary and I won't go to, into detail about them but because of their family my kids are put into my house like their kids are put in my house because they're scared of the family and then they in this situation is like the government For the record, there are some really good views about the government. Like I do have good views about the government in some respects, but not in the way they treat Ad North. There's actually, which is, and there's one really cool thing that's happening. There's actually a fairy, yes, a fairy, small little creature. We love them. A lot, of, a lot of my kids are fairies. Um, there's a fairy going against a human for president this term, this presidential term. If this works out, This will be the first ever Ad North to ever run for government. Ever. Like, well, actually that's not true. Run for presidency, not run for government. There's been a couple Ad North in government. But mostly as puppets. And they usually haven't been in the U.S. government. Nor have been in other governments. Not, not U.S. Cause keep in mind, we just most of the U.S. government, like the U.S., just got freedom in the last ten years. Hmm. I don't know if this is too soon or not, but honestly, I think it's beautiful, and that's not just because I'm at, not just because I'm at North. Well, I think this is it on my views. 
in my beliefs for this situation. I've decided that if I make any more videos, um, and if anybody sends me fan art, um, in the email in the description, or, or, um, sends it to, like, Likey, I'll, I'll post it at the end of the video, if the video is short enough, because sometimes the video isn't short enough to post a picture at the end. And if the video is short enough, I'll be posting a picture at the end of the fan art. Well, I think we're coming to the end of the video. Thank you for hearing me out and my ranting and my rambling. If you want to see more of my videos, let me down. Let, let me know at the end, at the bottom, like in the comments down below. Um, what's your views on abnormal rights? Should, should Adnors like me be allowed to do the stuff we do? Are we allowed human rights because we're not fully human? Or because we're human with super, with super like abilities, super hyphened abilities? Well, I hope you have a good rest of your morning. Maybe even that your afternoon's even better. That your evening is about relaxing, calming down, and breathing. That you get great sleep tonight. Not just good sleep, but great sleep tonight. And you wake up rejuvenated and refreshed. Always know that no matter what part of the world you are, or what species you are, I, Mama May, is fighting for you. And cares about you. More than you ever know. With that said, you take care of my children, and I love you. Sparkle on, my beautiful sparkles. <laughs>